I'm Karen Grace and I'm a personal shopper and stylist for Frumper to Funky. They're a London-based image consultancy for both men and women and today I'm going to give you a few styling tips. Now we're going to um, talk about how to choose the right swimwear. Now choosing the right swimwear you have to decide, uh, you have to consider your body shape because what you want to do, you're exposing a lot of flesh, so you want to uh, enhance your assets and hide your imperfection. You also have to consider whether you're going to be active, um, doing water sports, water skiing, surfing, swimming, or you're just going to be relaxing on the beach. Now, if you're going to be active, for the more active, a swimsuit is the best. Something with a racer back, like this, which will actually make sure that the straps don't slip off. So if you're going to do a lot of water skiing or surfing, something like that would be actually quite good. Now, what it does, it's, it, it's, quite it's very tight fitting, so it, the uh, water doesn't drag when you're swimming. But it's not really good for the, um, the larger woman, especially if she's got quite a large bust. Because what it will do, it will flatten the bust and not give a, a very good shape. It will be quite boxy. So the uh, larger woman needs to have something with still a lot of lycra in, but with an actual um, cup. And this one is really good because it has an actual integrated bra inside. So it gives quite a lot of support. And the back is quite high because it's all right having a uh, underwired swimsuit, but if the, the back is low, there's still not a lot of support. You could actually slip out in the front underneath the, the underwiring. So with the back, it makes sure that you're secured. This one does have separate bra strap as well for extra uh, security. So this is quite good. This also, if you have a larger tummy, or have other imperfections uh, that you want to conceal, it does have additional panels inside, which um, bring you, bring you, uh, sorry, brings your tummy in even more. So this is great for swimming for the larger woman, but also if you're just relaxing on the beach, it gives you a good shape. So you could uh, consider that. The other swimsuit is a bandeau swimsuit which goes, has no straps and goes straight across the, the top. Now, it's, uh, even if you've got underwiring, it's not, there's not much support in this, so it's not really um, a good swimsuit for active uh, water sports. It's more for relaxing on the, the beach. And also, it's quite good because it'll give you an even suntan here because there's no straps. It's good for the um, pear-shaped woman because it brings more the attention here. Uh, a bandeau top like this actually broadens your shoulders, so then it will balance out your shoulders with your wider hips. What it isn't really good for is for the inverted triangle woman where she's, um, she either has broad sh shoulders or she is top heavy and she's got slim um, hips because it will bring more attention here, it will make the shoulders look broader and it brings more attention at the top. But for the um, pear-shaped woman, it's, it's much better. The more detail on the top also brings the eye upwards. There's also, if you don't want to go down the bikini route and you don't want a swimsuit, you can always go for the tankini. This is good for um, concealing the tummy area and the lycra, if it's um, there's plenty of lycra in the fabric, will, keep the, uh, will support the tummy, keep the tummy in. Now going on to bikinis, if you've got a small frame, if your, um, your bust, your hips and your waist there's not much difference, then a, a tiny bikini is ideal because what it does, it'll bring more attention to your slimmer legs and your, your perk bottom. This is good for the pear shaped because it has more detail on the top and less detail and it's got a plainer bottom. The little frilly um, skirt actually camouflages the hips, so a little detail like that is, is okay. But if you're pear shape, you shape, always go for the, um, the, plainer, the plainer bottom. If you're in an inverted triangle shape, where your, your bust is uh, you're wider or broader on the shoulders and slim on the hips, you need to go for a plain top 
and then have pattern bottoms. The more pattern and the more buckles and frills you have on the bottom will actually detract away from your broad shoulders. So that's um, a quite a good look. For the, you can actually have um, the same, this is the same uh, top, it's a uh, matching top, but that's probably for um, the hourglass figure where you're, uh, the hips and the uh, bust are roughly the same, so you could have that. For the larger busted lady, always go for the underwiring, it gives more support and try to go for uh, thicker straps as well which will give more support and that's how you choose the right swimwear.